What up? It's your boy J to the AYR to the OC. Back. Can somebody tell me what the hype was on these? Seriously. Look, I wanted to let you guys know if you follow me on Instagram at the official sneaks at the official sneaks go look me up a lot of times on release day i'll be able to secure a lot of pairs online whether it be with uh with somebody with an add to cart or anything like that and i get hooked up on these add to cart services where some people are charging you know 50 60 i think these were like 50 bucks for the add to cart they got companies that'll do the add to cart for me for nothing if i just shout them out so um what I'll do a lot of times is I'll get the add to cart service and then I'll just sell them, not for retail, but pretty much a little bit above and beat everybody else's prices. I think these were going for like 265, um, 275. I seen them at 285, 300. Um, I sold these. Well, these aren't sold. These are actually available. We'll get into that in a minute. But I sold a pair I got off Nike.com uh, for an add to cart and a pair off Shoe Palace that I was actually able to get just from constantly refreshing uh, for 265 shipped. Now, this pair right here came with the socks, came with the matching Jordan socks from Shoe Palace. And no, they don't sell unauthorized items. Everything is authentic over there. So please hold the comments and pause your opinions about Shoe Palace. Their checkout sucks. Their website sucks. Their shipping fucking blows. But it's all authentic stuff. So um, I actually... This pair, because of Shoe Palace, everybody says that they're over retail and they don't give these shoes, you know, they don't give you the shoes for retail. A lot of times that's because you got to imagine the shipping is free. These were 200 bucks, 200 bucks. The shipping was free, so they didn't charge you to ship it to you. And they gave you this. They gave you the Jordan socks, dry fit socks. These are like $18.99, $20 bucks for $2.25. A lot of people say, fuck the socks, whatever. I just want it for retail just because they're assholes and they want it for retail. I ain't paying nothing above retail. Well, motherfucker, you got to pay above retail for shit like this, these quick strike releases. Um, but anyway, we get into the shoe. I'm not that impressed with it. My opinion of the shoe isn't all that good. Uh, this will probably be a fairly quick review, but we'll get into it in detail like we do. First off, this carbon fiber panel here. I thought it was textured or anything. It's not. It's just a flat plate, plastic, carbon fiber print. It's not textured in any way to even feel like real carbon fiber, nothing. The suede is nice. Suede's pretty nice. It's like a flat suede. It's not like that ruffle, uh, ruffled up suede that's got like a, where you can really feel it. Um, like the Raging Bulls was that soft almost tumbled suede that was just you felt it it felt like a fucking carpet it was weird it was just awesome these are not like that they're a little bit more flat and not as uh, rugged um, of course you got that that's for the grill move on to the back there they got a stitch loose Jordan brand appreciate you <laughs> of course you know your tongue has the XIV for 14 and your jump man 23 and your back inside is the same there is your what would that be that'd be like the the grill the intake more of that carbon fiber print make our way up to the tongue there is your jump man camera we love it when you focus there we go there's your jump man your new buck all the way up the tongue till you get to this uh, kind of textured deal. I'm not going to pull these out because these are for sale. I'm not going to pull that out. <clears throat> you can check other reviews for what the inside of the damn shoe looks like that you put your foot in. Um, and here is your here's your bottom with all that traction on it. These are comfortable as hell. 14s, I like them. I think they're very comfortable. I just, this doesn't appeal to me. With the Yeezys, I didn't really find an all red shoe just doesn't really do it for me. All blue, all all of anything doesn't do it for me. These probably feel good on feet, um, especially with the materials used. They probably feel incredible. They probably are, are everything that everyone dreamed of, but they just don't do much for me. Uh, these are for sale. They are available on uh, the official uh, at the official sneaks. You can hit me up or on officialsneaks.com. I think I got them up for with the socks. I think two seventy. Something like that shipped with a pair of Jordan socks. So um, let me know if you want them. Uh, don't bother hitting me up in the comments. Best bet is to just follow me on Instagram or hit the site up. 
officialsneaks.com and grab them. Tell me what you think about them in the comments. Were they worth the hype? Was this worth a quick strike release? Uh, was it worth, um, you know, was it was it worth the hype on these? Were they everything that people dreamed of and more? Were the quality? How'd you feel about the quality? I took the retail sticker off, by the way, because they are for resale. I do that with all my pairs. A lot of people are like, man, where's the fucking retail? I pull it off because I sold it over retail. If it's, you know, it's kind of like um, Shoe Palace does this. Um, Exclusity does that. Uh, Flight Club, you'll see a lot of times they'll do that if they're going to sell for over this retail sticker. They pull it off just as I do. You can see that it's perforated for anybody that gets these. Um, and they'll come with the receipt as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Was it worth the hype? Was it worth sites fucking crashing and $75, $60 add to cart fees? Was it was it worth all of that? Hit me in the comments. Let me know. It's your boy J today, YR to the OC. Follow me on Instagram, fuckers, at the official sneaks. One.